I was kind of on the bad end of that relationship. Huh? Shock went through my spine. It just freaked me out. And the front like security lights came on. Hey guys, I got sponsored by a local bakery, Mon Petit Chou, and we got all these spooky treats that we're gonna do a photo shoot for um, as we're doing a little Instagram collaboration. So I'm in my witchy finery and we're gonna have a great time. This stuff looks amazing. So if you're in the Cincinnati area, make sure you check them out. I will tag them in my stories and on my Instagram, but it's a beautiful day. The sun finally came out, so it should be perfect. And we are headed there now. Hey guys, I am here at Mon Petit Chou Bakery, a new bakery that opened up downtown. We are going to be getting some spooky treats that we're going to go take to the graveyard and have an amazing day. If you have not been here, it is literally adorable, the cutest place. So make sure you come visit. I'm going to tag everything in my story. Brand new, look at how gorgeous it is. It's super aesthetic. You can come and have a little treat with a friend, such a great date spot or to catch up. So we are headed to the cemetery. This is the coolest cemetery. It's so neat. This is why I picked this location. They have all the really cool old headstones. So this should look super picturesque. We've got the changing leaves. So I'm so excited. Hey guys, so we are at the graveyard. We're getting some close up shots and some pictures of all these yummy treats. The scones are amazing. I already had one in the car over. Look how gorgeous the macaroons are. They made these spider webs. These tarts with these spooky ghosts, my little ghost cookie. I mean, this eyeball, this looks like a real eye. Like how cool is that? They made me cute little skulls. This tart, he's like adorable. So it's incredible. Perfect weather, we're getting great shots. Party at the castle. I'm giving, yes, she's telling me my themes. I'm giving party at the castle. I'm giving um, Marie Antoinette Coven. I'm giving Sarah Sanderson. I think that's her name. The blonde Sanderson sister. I got a nod from behind the camera, so I think that's right. That's what I'm trying to serve for you guys today. <laughs> So my makeup today perfectly matches this cookie. It's like it was like perfectly made for me. So cute, feeling all my witchy October vibes. <laughs> That's so cute. I love it. She flew in on my broomstick. Okay, so we're shooting in the cemetery. The car's all the way over there. So here's the real glamour of it all. I'm like changing under my skirt. <laughs> oh my God, it comes a car! Oh my God, what if we just saw a ghost in the window right now? Then that would be amazing and we would get it on camera. <laughs> Hey guys, I just got back from the graveyard and just finished shooting. It was so tiring, but really fun. We actually had great weather and great light. So I think the pictures turned out really good. My eyelash is like half falling off and I'm so tired and sweaty, but it was great. Hey guys, I haven't been vlogging very much today, but something happened well, I was out running errands today that I felt like was vlog worthy. First of all, I'm gonna make these cute little um, skull cookies because it's almost Halloween, just a couple days away. Um, so I was out today and something really embarrassing happened. So I was like, I'm gonna make these cookies and I'm gonna talk about it a little bit in the vlog. Oh my God, this candle is amazing. It's this lemongrass candle. I'm gonna light it while I bake, but 
I ran into an X. Yeah. Why can't I bite this? There we go. I ran into an X and it was super uncomfortable. I feel like I was kind of on the bad end of that relationship. Like I was super immature and that I didn't really end it right. And it didn't really end. Basically I kind of like ghosted him. I don't know. I just feel really bad about it. The encounter was super, super weird. Uh, I just feel like we're in, I don't know. I just feel like, ooh. I lived in Hollywood at the time. Should I even say where I lived? Cause I'm like, uh. Um, I lived in Hollywood at the time and I met this guy while I was working at Universal Studios and we met at this bar called Angels and Kings that was like this punk rock bar that was super popular um, back in like 2012-ish. Anyway, let me preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Hold on. I actually made the first move and went and talked to him so I liked his hair and we started dating for a little bit and he was really nice and really sweet and he played guitar and I thought that was cool but he was just not right for me and after a little bit of time I started to realize oh this isn't like we don't have the best chemistry I don't think this is gonna last I was like working a lot and he didn't have he didn't have anything going on, but he just, he was just like a little bit more. I was starting to feel like, okay, it's not really working with us. And I was really immature at the time. And I like was a party girl and I just never really broke it off. So what kind of like killed the vibe for me, hold on, come on. I'm going to make some of this and then I'll come back to it. Cause these aren't even going to be ready while I'm telling the story. Okay. But anyway, then we went on this date and he was trying to make it like super serious and was like, I have a surprise for you and like all this kind of stuff. And when we got to the house, um, his house, like after we went out on our date and stuff, it like he had roses waiting and was like trying to say like, I love you. And I feel like he did not know me in the slightest to say I love you. Like we literally dated like three and a half months max. Like we were, I was really busy at the time. We didn't, you know, we hung out, but we weren't like together constantly. Like I just thought it was really weird and really soon for him to kind of like say that. And it just freaked me out. So then after that, I just kind of like ghosted him. And it was around this time of year too. It's so funny because I was working for Universal and a Walking Dead project that they had. So. I remember we were supposed to like hang out like after Halloween because I'd work Halloween and, and I just kind of like never texted him back and I kind of like let it go. And I think he even like texted a few times and I was just like too immature to like fully break it off. So that's why like running into him, like a shock went through my spine. I did not expect him to, to see him. Oh, and the guy that he was jealous of that I was friends with at the time we were dating, that's who I ended up being with. And he like follows me on social media and he knows that. And I'm just like, ah, but he is in a, like a happy relationship, I think with, um, with someone too, but it was just such an awkward encounter. Like we felt like we had to both talk to each other, but neither of us wanted to. And I just feel really bad about it. I just, if anybody is thinking of like, if they don't really feel somebody and they're just kind of wanting to not deal with the awkwardness, just, Huh? Sorry, we heard a really scary noise and thought somebody was trying to get into the house and the front like security lights came on, but it wasn't anything. Anyway, that's why I freaked out and paused the video. <laughs> um, but what I was saying was if you're feeling that way and you're feeling like, you know, you're just not right to be together even if you're young, like I just really think the best thing to do is just tell them like ghosting somebody is so immature and I feel like guilt, like true guilt about it. It's just in the moment, you don't feel like you wanna do that at all. That just was weighing on my mind cause it just happened and I'm like, 
Anyway, that's my little PSA, but let's go check on our cookies. Fully a chef. <laughs> yeah, I flour the rolling pin. I probably should make that gesture. Demonetized. <laughs> Reality. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I bet this is a really long vlog by now, so I am going to end it here. But the photo shoot was so much fun. And thank you again to the bakery for sponsoring me. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a happy Halloween.